Hello everyone and welcome to a book haul. Got quite a few books to talk about. Only three are physical books. Um, I did film a ebook haul a little bit ago, but I lost some of the footage and I was just not going to refilm that because there was a lot. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of break it up um, and I'll explain why as I go along, but maybe every two to two and a half weeks I'll do um, an ebook haul because there'll definitely be an accumulation of books, at least I'm assuming as of this date, <laughs> for, to be able to do that. So um, I'll explain more as I go. So let's go ahead and just talk about real quick the three books that I have received. So the one that I got is one, and I'm going to apologize right now, it is extremely windy here, so you might hear wind whipping around outside and causing acorns to fall and hit the awning that's right outside my window. So you may hear some background noise. Anyway, um, this first book is one that my mom was gifted, but the print is too small and light for my mom to be able to read it. So my mom ordered a version of this book on her Kindle and gave me the physical copy. Um, I do not know anything that this is about, but it's called The Ladies Auxiliary. Um, and this is a standalone and it's by Tova uh, Mirvis. Um, so there's that one. Okay. And I'm not going to do a description of these because there's just too many books to talk about overall in this video. The next book I ordered was a pre-order. Um, or the next book I received is a pre-order. Um, and I only ordered it because one of the words in the title is vampire. So Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This is book one in a series. I believe the series is also called Empire of the Vampire. Um, I don't know if this is, this, if this is going to be a trilogy. I think it's going to be a trilogy, but I'm not positive. But Empire of the Vampire. Um, and underneath the dust jacket, it's just black with red on the spine. Um, one thing I love about this book is throughout the book there is artwork. This is over 700 pages, like 734, but that includes all the pages with the artwork. Um, so obviously when it comes to just the writing, it is going to be much less. Um, so yeah. And what I think is also cool is this particular edition happens to be, um, I don't know if you can see it, there you go, signed right there by Jay Kristoff. Um, this, I have never read any of Jay Kristoff, um, but vampires, so, okay. Uh, number three is, and this is the last physical book that I will be talking about. And this one is um, an ARC, so an advanced reader's copy. I won this from a Goodreads contest, and it's Three Girls from Bronzeville, and this is by Don Turner, and it says, an, A Uniquely American Story of Race, Fate, and Sisterhood. This, when I, I do remember reading the back, it's been a little bit, but it sounds... It read in the synopsis like it was going, like it sounded like it was a fiction book. No, this is actually nonfiction and it's like a biography or a memoir. So I'm excited. I think this sounds really good and I love that the faces are actually um, kind of a metallic bronze. The camera is probably not picking that up very well, but um, yeah. And this comes, it says it's on sale at least here in the United States, I believe, is September 7th, so it is already out. Part of why I, okay, so now into the reason why I think I'm going to break this up like every two to two and a half weeks is because I'm keeping a lo list of the books that I get from BookBub. There might be, you know, two or three of them that I buy that's like a dollar or three dollars, um, but most of these books, like I would say 97% of these books, that I get from BookBub are free ebooks. Um, so I'm keeping a list so that I could do a haul. Um, I have 33 to talk about. Again, I'm just going to mention the title and the author. Um, as far as any other, other information, I will in the description box list if it's an adult or 
um, part of a series or if it's a, um, like a horror mystery, I'll try and do that. Um, so that you can look into that and look up the description because if I do the description for each of these We're gonna be here for a very 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 long time Because I still need to talk about or tell you what books I got from Goodreads from entering contests and I enter hundreds of contests on Goodreads and So when you enter that many you're bound to win a handful of books. So uh, So just be aware of that as well um Oh, and I do want to mention, I did just get approved on NetGalley for um, two books. I'm pulling them up. Okay, so Christmas in the Scottish Highlands, and this is by Donna Ashcroft. So there's the first one. And then the second one I just got approved of like two or three days ago is The Unheard by Nikki French. Um, I'll insert images of these books. If I can find images of the books, um, and I think there's only been one or two instances where I actually could not find an image, but usually I can. So those are the ones from NetGalley. Now back to the BookBub ones. Okay, so again, I have 33, and it's actually, is it more? It's actually more than that because some of these ones that I got for for free was like a box set so the first like three books in a series um, and so I'll tell you the titles of the first three books in that particular series so and that happens to be the case with the first one I'm going to talk about called The Breakers and this series is by Edward W. Robertson and it's a series of eight books I got the box set of the first three books in the series and those are Breakers, Meltdown, and Knife Point Next, I got um, Second Son, and this is by Pamela Taylor, and this is book one out of four in the Second Son Chronicles. The Executions by Sarah Elizabeth Sawyer, and this is part of the Choctaw Tribune. Um, it's the first book out of so far only two. When We Talk by Carrie Crafton. The Ice Maiden by B.D. Smith, like Bravo Delta, B.D. Smith. So The Ice Maiden by B.D. Smith, and this is the first book out of the Doug Bateman mystery, and so far there's only two in this series. Now I don't know if, if there's only two, if it's going to be a duology, or if there will be more. Um, don't know that yet. Climbing the Colosseum by Bill Percy, and this is part of the Monastery Valley, and it's the first book out of five. Murder at the Manor by Catherine Coles, and this is part of the Tommy and Evelyn uh, Christie series, and it's number one out of five. Captive by Vanessa Garden, and it's the Submerged Sun series, and it's number one out of four. Pronounced, I'm guessing it's pronounced Ponzi, um, but pronounced Ponzi by Ray Dan Parker. The Book of Secrets by M.L. Little, and this is the Seventh Realm Trilogy, and it's the first one in that trilogy. Go the Distance, and this is by Jen uh, Kalanita, and this is actually part of the Twisted Tale series, and this one was like a dollar. Um, there was another one I got a bit ago that actually was free, and I don't remember which one, but this one's Go the Distance. Witchy Reservations, and this is by Stephanie Damore, and it's the Mystic Inn series, and it's number one out of three. Dream Big Stella, and this is by Ashley Farley, and it's number one out of four in the Hope Springs series. The Hour of Her Death, and this is by Rebecca Rain, 
Uh, and this is the Kendra Dillon Cold Case series, and it's number one out of three. Draken by Charlotte E. English, and this is number the Draken series, uh, so it's the same title as a series, or the same series as the title of the first book out of five. Another box set for books one through three in the, it's S-E-I, um, Say, Sai, I don't know, um, but it's by Ty Hutchinson and there's five books in this series. Number one is uh, Contract Snatch, and then Contract Sicko, and then Contract Primo. So those are the three in that one. Played to Death, and this is by B.V. Lawson. So Bravo Victor Lawson, B.V. Um, of course, I don't know if those are the names, but anyway, B.V. Lawson. <laughs> Played to Death by B.V. Lawson, and this is the Scott Draco Mystery Series, and it's book number one out of five. One for Sorrow by Sarah A. Denzel, and this is the Isabel Fielding series, and this is book number one out of three. Justice Calling by Annie Bellet. Uh, this is the 20 Sided Sorceress, and it's book number one out of 10, so a longer series there. Premonition by Lee Walker, and this is the Division series, and it's number one out of four. Deadly Motives by Anne Gerdherry. Uh, this is the Detective Grant and Ruby series, and it's number one out of three. Speechless by Madeline Freeman, and this is book number one out of two of the Unfortunate Souls series. So it sounds like that's a retelling of Little Mermaid. The Cascade uh, Killer by Rob Phillips, and this is Luke McCain, and this is a brand new series, so this is the only one that's out, and I don't know how much will be out. So this is brand, brand new. Okay, um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, Chase Tinker and the House of Magic by Malia Ann Haberman, and this is the Chase Tinker series, and it's number one out of four. Port Danby, this is a box set and it includes books one through three um, by London Levette and there are 17 primary works in this series. So it's the Port Danby is the series and the first three books are Marigolds and Murder, Carnations and Chaos, Mistletoe and Mayhem. Okay, we're on to number 26 now. Case of the One-Eyed Tiger by Jeffrey Poole, and this is the Corgi Case Files, and it's number one out of 14, and there's quite a few cozy mysteries that go on sale for like less than three dollars or for free, so you do see a lot of cozy mysteries. There's also thriller, there's a few romance, with, there's a, a range, but it's not a wide range of genres, so some fantasy, some adult, some YA, very few middle grade. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get on. Quite a bit of cozy mysteries. <laughs> um, and I like cozy mysteries. Okay, uh, let's see. Return to Magnolia Bloom, and this is by Paula Adler, and this is the Magnolia Bloom series, and it's number one out of four. All That Was Left Unsaid by Jacqueline Underdown. That's a standalone. <laughs> the, yep, that's a standalone. Doesn't happen very often when I get these. Okay. The Boatman by Dustin Stevens, and this is the Reed and Billy series, and it's number one out of eight. Edge of Magic by Jane Faith, and this is the Tara Knightley series, and it's number one out of four. Another standalone is The Forgiving Hour, and this is by Robin Lee Hatcher. Uh, this one I do remember the, being labeled as a Christian fiction, so you do get a few of those as well. 
Okay, the last two that I will be mentioning for the Book Bub haul for this particular video is Speak No Evil by Tanya Ann Crosby. And this is the Aldrich Sisters, and it's book number one out of three. And then the last one from Book Bub is Dragonfly by uh, Risa Nelson, and it's the Dragonfly series, and it's the first out of four. Okay, so now let's go ahead and tell you about the books that I have won from Goodreads. Uh, again, for the physical book, it was this one that had shown up and that it can take a couple of weeks if you want a physical book from Goodreads it can take a couple of weeks to show up especially with COVID issues still going on um, so I enter both for both physical and Kindle um, or ebooks so you can enter for one or the other or both I do both um, and you definitely I think at least in my experience win more ebooks so um, I have 36 to tell you about. Again, same thing, no description. Let's just give you the title and the author. A little bit more information as far as the genre and the age range, if it is listed, will be in the description box along with the titles and the authors. Okay, number one, The Rainwater Secret by Monica Shaw. The Haunting of Sycamore House, and that is by Kathy Pepper, and this is In for a Penny series, and it's number one out of three. Man of Light and Shadows by Catherine L. E. White. Trampling in the Land of Woe by William L. J. Gallini, and this is the Patron Saints of Hell and this is number one. I don't know how many books will be in this series. Redeeming the Prodigal, and this is by Jody Basie. Daylight by Elisa Sims. The Republic of Virtue by Jefferson Flanders wind is picking up. <laughs> a Luca mystery series box set. So sometimes you do want a whole box set and this is books one through three for in the Luca mystery series. Um, I don't know how many are in this series and this is by Dan Petrosini. So the books included are I Am the Killer, Vanished, and The Serenity Murder. Number nine, All as the Dice by Dylan Kale. The Great Exchange by J.J. Aubrey. Silhouette Changes by T.R. Gray. The Blue House Raid by Robert Perrin, I'm guessing. Nura One. This is the Genship Trilogy and it's by Henry Sipes. I might have said that wrong, but it's N E, excuse me, N U E R A and then the number one. So I'm not sure how that's going to be pronounced at all, and I don't know how many books in that particular series. Brief Horrible Moments. This is number two. Don't know how many books. And this is a collection of two sentence horror stories. Vestman's Gale, and this is by David McCaleb. The Stepchildren by Stephanie Sparks. Okay, this next one I'm not sure too much about either, and it's called Science Fiction Fantasy Tales and Origins by Bill Eckel. Okay, number 18, Steel Guardian, and this is by Cameron Coral. This is the Rusted Wasteland, and it's number one out of three. Curse of the Gods by R.L. McIntyre. Daunted No More by S.R. 
Luvik. Pushing the River by Barbara Monier. And I know I'm saying a lot of these names wrong, and so I apologize. Across Unstill Waters by, uh, let's see, D.L. Anderson. And this is the Stephen House Chronicles, and it's book one. I don't know how many books in this series. Dialogues of Crime, and let's see, this is by John K. Manos. Mine by James Russell. The Body Scout by Lincoln Michael. Moon Drop Miracle by Jennifer Lamont Leo. This is the Windy City Hearts, and it's number one out of two, at least so far. A Hero Dreams by Mark Ristow. The Essence of Nathan Biddle by J. Williams Lewis. The Advent of Dream Tech uh, by Isaac Petrov. And this is the DreamWorks series and it's number one out of three. This one's gonna be fun to say. It's Trials of Thorktar. There's a little apostrophe symbol between the K and the T in the middle of the word. So Trials of Thor Thorktar. This is by Jamie, N. Sa Jamie M. Samland. Number 31, Bonds That Bind by Ashley Ann. The Last Bush Pilots by Eric Ox Oxier. Love and the Story by Surav Mittal. Scarlet at Crystal River by Randy Overbeck. The Soul Breaker by Sebastian Physic. And finally, the last book that I've won so far as of today when I'm filming this on Goodreads is Stupid Machine. <laughs> and that's by Mark Neiman Ross. So Stupid Machine by Mark Neiman Ross. So those are all the books that I've obtained in the past little bit, two and a half-ish weeks. Um, again, most of these are ebooks. With BookBub, you get a notice every day of a list of books that are on sale from like, you know, again, the most I've seen is like $4.99 for you, four ninety nine US dollars. Um, obviously that's pre-tax, um, but, and then, so two ninety nine, a lot of 99 cent books and quite a bit of free of them, quite a bit of them are free. If you are able to do BookBub, I don't know what L areas they service, but I will leave the uh, website for BookBub so you can check it out if you would like. I'll have that in the description box. So if you want to check it out to see if you can get some free ebooks, that's great. They also have a service where if you download the app Chirp or sign up for Chirp, it's an audiobook service. They do have audiobooks at a discounted price as well, but none of them have been free yet um, from the emails that I've been doing that. The audiobooks book ones I have not received every day, maybe once or twice a week. Um, but you're talking like generally three to five dollars for an audiobook as well. I think some have been a little bit more, but and I, so I haven't done that one yet. I'm trying to get through what I have. So those are the books that I have won um, that from Goodreads and have got through BookBub. So again, I will have the titles of the books, the author of the books. I will try to list what age range, if I am able to locate it, as well as the genre for the books. And then of course, if it's part of a series, um, I will list what number in that series that particular book is. So that'll all be in the description. A lot of books will be in the description box, um, but I'll try to put those in order of what I got physically, and then like a BookBub section, and then the Goodreads section. So I'll try and section it off like that as well. So that's it for this video. So until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And Alta. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.